All right, bro. Let's go ahead and head into the main event of the evening. We got that SCP-3288, the aristocrats by the guy, the man, the man, the legend, rubber. Um, you know what I mean? We we about to see we about to see what this is talking about. Uh, you know what I mean? And yeah, bro. Let's go ahead and get straight into it, bro. Y'all y'all know me. Y'all know me and rubber. We like these, bro. We we like these. You know what I mean? So. Let's go ahead and get straight into it and see what it's talking about, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Viewer discretion is advised. A dwarf 3288 climbed atop 3288 Alpha's shoulder and lift its red veil, covering only the eyes. 3288 Alpha sniffed the- Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm not trying to hear somebody sniffing my ear off the rip, bro. This how y'all gonna be during Thanksgiving. Oh, God. Niggas gonna smell that turkey, that ham, that mashed potatoes. Okay, I see ya. Okay, chat. Air, then proceeded to lift the cauldron and pour the victims. This is dead y'all on Thanksgiving. This is y'all, this is all y'all on Thanksgiving going crazy. Gut hanging over the belt, letting the, letting the belt loose, unbuggling, you know what I mean? Down its anonymously large mouth and gullet. Hello everybody, I'm the rubber. Today, we Hi, brought the SCP Foundation Teeter Class Object, SCP-3288. SCP-3288, also known as the Aristocrats. <laughs> but your head ass, your face ass, your ugly ass, nigga got a potato ass. Like, bro, the nigga all the way to the right over there, he down atrocious. So is this nigga up here, bro. What even is that? Nigga, his teeth don't even line up correctly. That shit like a scribble. <laughs> Nigga, that shit like a uh, a goddamn tic tac toe board. Not even that shit too straight to be a tic tac toe board. <coughs> Yo, I don't know what this is, boy. That forehead right here, and then you got like the little Super Saiyan three lumps going down bad over here. This nigga got the Dracula eyes with the the George Washington bonnet going with the the Volkov brawlhalla fit on, strong ass neck. I'm bro. And why this nigga, bro, y'all ever seen, like, one of them blobs underwater, like, the pink shit? He got one of those noses. He got the fucking, uh, the Obito fucked up half face with the showering gun eye. <coughs> All right, bro. That, that's crazy. All right. Are highly predatory species or subspecies of the genus <laughs> Sleep Homo. paralysis monster. 3288 instances are mute. I'm not letting this nigga slide either, bro. This nigga off the Druze. Shout out my readers. If you read, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And his teeth, them niggas playing Among Us in there, nigga. Like, the imposter, nigga. And then, bro, what what type of drug you got going? Like, he got that uh that that Bane venom going through his his fucking uh veins. And then he got that, I don't even know, I don't even know what lump that is. And he got the Krillin fucking Diesel, uh uh uh, uh line. I don't even know, bro. He got the humpback, camelback. Okay, for sure and deformed to an inhuman degree. He said he are <laughs> completely hairless. Whoa! This nigga didn't even have a hairline to begin with and that shit already receding. Nigga down horrible. Completely hairless. Got that Gara coffin under his shirt. Like, relax. You know, niggas usually have a triple chin. This nigga got a triple neck. Nigga, fuck are you talking about? Yo, hell no. This nigga ear on backwards, bit. Yo, this is awful. Okay and have chalk white light sensitive skin their arms are fully twice as long as a human's and in in polydactyl hands covered in enamel nigga caught his hands polydactyl i don't even know what that means that shit like a fish fin long as hell he got them them flippers ready to swim through the ocean with his nails all right let me stop the substance tends to fracture and shift causing pain. <laughs> he got that uh Uruchimaru curse mark but allowing the afflicted to remain mobile. SCP-3288 instances hate and fear bright light, which causes them great pain. The mental state of 3288 are unstable, primarily characterized by delusions of grandeur and malignant narcissism. 3288 are usually about human-sized, often slightly shorter due to their pronounced <coughs> hunchbacks, but some instances can grow much larger than any human. 3288 instances have abnormal muscle strength despite having the appearance of severe emaciation. They also exhibit heterochromia with each eye a different color. Colors range from blue, red, purple, and yellow. Said these niggas got anime eyes? Okay. With the Obito facials? 
<laughs> okay. Their most horrific feature is a massive mouth with grotesquely jutting jaws, containing at least 60 huge teeth, approximately six times the size of normal adult teeth, packed what? unevenly with six rows. Bro, he got that. He got that. That bro. He got these right here. Bro, I gotta pull it up. Whoa! We can't see that. All right. Uh. 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 He got these right here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. These right here, bro. He got these right here. He got these right here. <laughs> he got that blast power. He got these right here. This is what he got, bro. He <laughs> said that blast. <laughs> Yo! He got that. That these right here. No, sir, bro. SpongeBob be on book. 3288 are also addicted to eating human flesh, primarily targeted the most vulnerable of the population, such as prostitutes, unsupervised <laughs> children, transients, and wait, wait, go back. Go back, to go back. eating human flesh. Wait, primarily wait, 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 wait. 3288 are also addicted to eating human flesh, primarily targeted the most vulnerable of the population, such as prostitutes, unsupervised <laughs> children, transients and inebriated or otherwise indisposed individuals so you said they don't they don't they don't mess with pure breeds so innocent people who are of the lore all right for sure nice 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 we good we good these detrimental traits have not been only negated but inversely amplified resulting in longer lifespans increased resistance to disease and anonymously <laughs> high levels of fertility niggas said increased levels uh, or increased like like uh Resistance to disease, nigga, they are the disease. What are you talking about? SCP-3288 pregnancies have a gestation period of around two weeks. What? They produce multiple offspring. Two weeks? Which reach physical and sexual maturity in less than two years. According to the entries by Leopold I, it seems that the creation of SCP-3288 is the result of the introduction of an anomalous gene into the Habsburg family bloodline. This gene allows human DNA to resist certain deleterious conditions associated with inbreeding. The House of Hasburg continued its practice of inbreeding. Those Just in case for y'all who don't know inbreeding, that's when you go crazy. Alabama. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. With significant deformities were hidden from the public. The Habsburg monarchs even created vast vaults to house them. And those who more closely resembled baseline humans remained on the surface. Documents reveal that the lifestyle of those who live in the vault is as luxurious as the one above. The request of food, wine, and entertainment over time become eccentric and strange, and eventually depraved. Among these requests was a substantial supply of human corpses, killed by the Great Plague of 1738. Now, I wasn't going to say nothing, but... Entertainment over time become eccentric and strange. So did this turn into a baby and did this turn into piss? We we drinking we drinking some nice hot urine. Okay, three two eight eight some some. I don't ever want to hear about this again, bro. This is the last time I want to hear about this. And eventually depraved. Among these requests was a substantial supply of human corpses, killed by the Great Plague of 1738, for use as food. Among the entries, there's one document that contains a list of vaults. The Foundation has used this information to locate and neutralize SCP-3288 hives, but half of the document was illegible due to mold-related damage. This means that at least half of these vaults will continue to be a significant threat to the public. SCP-3288 were first found out by the Foundation in 1988. They became aware of 3288 while investigating reports of unexplained disappearances in Vienna. It was discovered that these incidents occurred near sewer holes and access tunnels. Two agents were dispatched to Vienna to determine whether or not those unexplained disappearances were of an anomalous nature. Interviews with law enforcement and government officials revealed that human remains belonging to three individuals had been recovered, but that this information was not released to the public due to concerns of causing further panic. These remains were then delivered to humanoid containment site 282 in Grass. Autopsy reports noted that the three remains displayed no injuries corresponding with a human attacker. The doctor concluded that all sustained injuries were caused by a mix of teeth, claws, and raw physical strength. Further analysis revealed unique patterns among the bite marks, suggesting that there existed more than one source. In order to track down 3288, 
Mobile Task Force Sigma-6 was ordered to patrol the Leopoldstadt district, which has the highest number of recorded disappearances. Operatives are instructed to target 3288 with tracking darts and to refrain from lethal force. Their first operation happened on the 10th of June, 1988. 12 MTF Sigma-6 operatives patrolled the Leopoldst district in the evening. Two hours later, operatives 12 and 09 reported hearing a muffled <laughs> scream near the Donut Canal and sought to investigate the matter while requesting backup. Support arrived three minutes after the initial request and found the mangled remains of both operatives as well as the half-consumed body of a local civilian. Operative 12's head was detached from his body and was never located. His neck had sustained injuries suggesting that it had been severed or destroyed by a single bite. A trail of blood and entrails led. Bro, why are we even messing with 3288, bro? After hearing about these right here, I don't want no smoke, big fella. Yeah, I got it, bro. Leave them niggas alone, bro. Just make sure they don't breach, you know, my, my city. And, and y'all keep it over there, bro. Ain't no secure, contain, protect. No. Violate, murder, destroy, all right? Led to Operative 09, who had been torn in half along the waist. He had successfully crawled into an alleyway before succumbing to his injuries. The mission was deemed a success despite the loss of life, as Operative 09 had successfully struck the SCP-3288 instance with a tracking dart. The entity had escaped into the sewers, its movements tracked until the signal began to fade before nigga put out a dragon radar, bro. <laughs> were entirely disappearing. A month later, MTF Sigma-6 operatives were sent out again to the last known location of 3288. The Foundation hoped to minimize the possibility of escape and public exposure. Therefore, this time, they can use lethal force, if necessary. After several hours of investigation, Operatives 04 encountered human skeletal remains while wading through waist-deep water. Closer analysis of this area uncovered several loose bricks, which removal revealed an unrecorded subterranean chamber, whose walls were engraved with the House of Hasburg's coat of arms. The chamber included 24 sarcophagi and was presumably a family crypt belonging to the House of Habsburg. Prying open the sarcophagi, revealed the skeletal remains of over 300 victims, all displaying severe and likely fatal deformities. At the far end of the crypt was a vault door composed of bronze, with no apparent means of access, and seemingly impenetrable without proper equipment. The door displayed the House of Habsburg coats of arms and was engraved with the words, for purity of blood. MTF Sigma-6 operatives were ordered to hold their current location and await the arrival of an infiltration team. Foundation agents organized the temporary evacuation of the city and the sealing of all sewer access points. Finally, after many attempts to open the vault door, the bronze gate was finally carved apart via oxyfuel cutting torches and revealing a spiral staircase. An eight-person squad descended the staircase with radio transmission growing increasingly faint as the operatives traveled down the stairs. Red ground flares were periodically lit and discarded, providing a clear path of return. Operatives reached the bottom of the stairwell, where the gray stone halls of the crypt were replaced by architectural designs resembling 18th century depictions and reflecting the early Rococo artistic style popular during the era. The location hereafter known as SCP-32881A, contained various sculptures and Corinthian columns, while paintings and tattered tapestries adorned its walls. All depictions of the human form had been literally defaced, regardless of artistic medium. Operatives told Control Center that the air smells like rotten meat and stale sweat. Rotten meat and stale sweat. So either niggas is some freaks and weirdos. Never mind, they MTF unit. They see this shit on the regular. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. He probably do know what that smelled like. I ain't gonna cap, I ain't gonna cap. The floor and walls were stained with blood. Traveling through the corridor, operatives entered what appeared to be SCP-32881's library. The desk contained documents relating to alchemy, biology, contracts, and private journals. Most of these were in Latin and German. Operatives reached the ballroom and opera hall, 
describing the air as fetid. The aroma of perfume was also noted. The area contained a number of instruments. There were several refectory tables, probably used as a dining hall as well. Atop the tables were human remains in various levels of decomposition and culinary presentation. A bell abruptly began to toll and was followed by the automatic music of a nearby pipe organ. The discordant song played for approximately three minutes. When the pipe organ ceased its playing, it was followed by the sound of opening doors and shuffling footsteps. Operatives were ordered to hide behind the curtains and deactivate their flashlights. Unfortunately, operatives 18 fell behind, having tripped over a pile of bones and forced to take cover behind a harpsichord. Operatives observed the entire ballroom from the far corner of the stage curtain. The ballroom's wide gates opened. SCP-3288 walked in while dressed in the garb of 18th century courtiers. Then a pair of diminutive SCP-3288 entered, lagging behind the others. One blew a rusty trumpet ha! while the- My nigga, what? Nigga came out and blew a trumpet? He said, I'm, I'm gonna fuck you up with a trumpet. Other acted as standard bearer, holding a crudely painted ensign depicting a red lion on a black field. The trumpeter and stand- Why they built like that, bro? They built like Humpty Dumpty. Bear quickly moved aside after making an announcement. Their stunted legs causing them to tumble and roll as they fled. There now appeared to be several hundred SCP-3288 throughout the ballroom. Operatives 01 activated a silent distress call, requesting heavy support. All 3288 proceeded to kneel and lower their heads. An exceptionally corpulent instance of SCP-3288 classified as SCP-3288 Alpha up, entered up. the room, carried by other SCP-3288 via an enlarged and reinforced sedan chair. 3288 Alpha was dressed in a patchwork of noble finery, stitched together from various fabrics to create a single outfit capable of fitting its frame. It wore a crown that had come to more closely resemble a torture device, too small for its head but held in place by an overgrowth of flesh. This nigga think he out here like Jesus, man. Got the thorns and everything getting carried by the people. In lieu of a masquerade mask, it hid its face beneath a red shroud. A large iron cauldron containing deformed living victims was delivered to SCP-3288 Alpha's table. A dwarf 3288 climbed atop 3288 Alpha's shoulder and lifted up its red veil, covering only the eyes. 3288 Alpha Yo, sniffed the air. Get out, bro! To what? The victims down its anonymously large mouth and gullet. The other 3288 raised their masks and began to feast. An exceptionally tall specimen approached the harpsichord and snatched Operative 18 from. Oh, oh, oh. He downed that. He downed that. Down atrocious. This nigga about to get eaten for every limb he owns. I'm talking scrotum behind it the entity unhinged its jaw and quickly forced the operative down bro he went nuts first 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 bro he went nuts first he went nuts first bro he went nuts first bro he went nuts first he went nuts first ha yo he wildin that nigga done oh he went nuts first he he kind of gagging that hood all right i'm done on its throat first his screams unheard among the sounds of feasting and discordant music Suddenly, an explosion rocked the event, causing mass casualties among the 3288. It is that what is poking out his back? What are you talking about? Think it got a tail? Nah, nah, I don't think that's a tail. I think because they're like British people, right? So they got like the fancy clothes. Unless he like a demon, I don't know. And quickly, you said his neck? Yo, he really deep throwing him. Unless my guy right here got one of those. I mean, he, he might, you know, he might be on these. He might like the... Force the operative down its throat first. His screams unheard among the sounds of feasting and discordant music. Suddenly, an explosion rocked the event, causing mass casualties among the 3288. It is hypothesized that Operative 18 survived his ordeal and was able to activate an explosive device sacrificing himself in order to terminate 3288. Oh, so we terminated 3288? Alright, for sure. 
Head. Good work. It was a black boy who got eaten like that? Confirmed. Yup, confirmed. He got one of those. Nick spread among the remaining 3288. MTF Sigma-6 took this opportunity to release three methyl fentanyl to make 3288 unconscious. With the arrival of reinforcements, the survivors were secured and contained at humanoid containment site 282. The sheer size of SCP-3288 Alpha necessitated the use of a specialized crane and the creation of a shaft directly connecting SCP-3288-1 to the surface. Following the removal of SCP-3288 Alpha, SCP-3288-1 was filled with cement and reburied. Remember to check out my new animation channel, The Rubber Talks, where I share my life story. Th yeah, bro, we already hip to that rubber, you know. Make sure I check out the rubber, bro. This man goaded. This was this was a very good one, bro. This was a very good one, yo. Shout out the rub. This was a very very good one. This was tough. This was fire. This was fire. Shout out the rub, bro. Shout out the rubber. No cap.